Well, hi again for uscfsales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz 13 tip. Last time around, we began looking at full analysis, the analysis mode where Fritz will analyze an entire game for you and give you some verbal commentary, give you some commentary in the form of informant style symbols, as we see here. A little bit of verbal commentary, occasionally colored arrows and squares on the board, etc. We didn't look at the entire dialogue. We're going to look at the rest of it in this video. Of course, you'll recall from the last video, the way you get there is click on the database button, click once on the game you'd like to have analyzed, then go to the database tab and select full analysis. Last time around, we looked at everything on the right hand side of this dialogue. Now we're going to look at calculation time and threshold. Calculation time, I'm not going to beat it to death. I've written about it a ton of times on the internet. There are articles I've written down through the years all over the place if you hunt for them. But generally speaking, the longer you let a chess engine analyze, the better the analysis that you get back. So if you take calculation time and you set it for, say, five seconds a move, yeah, you're, it's going to go through the, the game pretty quickly. It, it'll take about two minutes probably and you're going to get some analysis but it's going to be fairly cursory analysis it's not as good as if you exercise a little bit more patience and let Fritz look a little bit longer than just five seconds a move likewise you can set it for ten minutes a move the problem is because every time you look one ply deeper it increases exponentially the number of positions that have to be analyzed. There's not a huge difference between letting Fritz search for 10 minutes of move in terms of its search depth and looking maybe 60 seconds, 90 seconds, 2 minutes of move. There comes a point of diminishing returns where Fritz is looking for a real long time but it's not going very much deeper than if it looked for a very short time because of that exponential number of positions that get added to the search every time you add one more ply, one more half move to the search depth. So bottom line here is people ask me what do I think you should set for calculation time. Personally I would set it for anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. On most present day computers, modern day hardware, that should do you. I typically go for 60. Typical 40 move game, roughly give or take, takes a couple hours to analyze a game at 60 seconds a move. At 30 seconds a move, eh, you know, an hour, hour, 15 minutes, something like that. Um, but 30 to 60 is probably your preferred calculation time. Now, if you're really on a budget for time, you use your computer for a lot of things, you could, if you want to, set a calculation time per game and set it for, say, 30 minutes or 60 minutes or 120 minutes and let Fritz budget its own time. I haven't fooled with this very much. I'm old school. Back in the day, 20 years ago when I first started playing around with chess computers, it was always time per move so I usually go for 30 to 60 seconds. Threshold. This determines when you're going to see a variation, a suggestion for a better move from Fritz. That's what threshold determines. For example, this setting I have here is 100. That's given in hundreds of a pawn. So a threshold setting of 100 means that Fritz will show you a better move if what you played is worse than the best move that it finds by a pawn or more. Basically, if you blunder away a pawn, Fritz will show you a better move at that point in the game. Let's go back to this game just for a second. You can see here where at certain points variations are given. That's what determines where you will see a variation, an alternate line of play, as you see here in brackets. What determines that is the threshold setting. If you set it for 100, Fritz will show you if, if the best move that it finds is better than what you played by a pawn or more, it will show you a variation at that point, a better move at that point. If you set it for 50, that means that if Fritz finds a move better than what you played by a half pawn or more, it will show you a better move at that point, etc. That's what threshold controls. The lower you set the number, the more you get back from Fritz. However, and there's always a however. If you were to set this for zero, unless you are a really, really super strong player, Fritz is going to give you a variation at pretty much every move of the game. The problem is that if Fritz was to find a move that was better than what you played, it's better by three one hundredths of a pawn, it will show you a better move there. It will show you that move. But do you really need that? Three one hundredths of a pawn is 
dang near equal to what you played. So yes, you can set it for a really low number and get a whole lot back from Fritz, but it's really hard to figure out what's important and what's not when you set it for a really, really low number. So here are my recommendations. People always ask me for my recommendation. If you are a beginning player, set it for 100. Don't go lower because you may not understand what Fritz is telling you. Basically, a setting a 100, Fritz will show you where you blundered away material, where you lost a pawn, and how you could have avoided losing that pawn. Most importantly, that's what we're after here, is finding out how we could have done better. So for a beginner, for a novice player, for an inexperienced player, 100 is a fine setting. As you progress, as you get more experience, as you become a more skilled player, you can start to lower that number. Most players, if you're a club level player, which is what I am, 50 is fine. I usually set it for 30 because an old friend of mine once told me that a setting of 30 for the threshold is roughly equivalent to losing a tempo. And I can understand that. I've been around chess long enough that I get it. I see where I, I lose time. If I wind up a couple of tempi behind, I've lost significant time there through making moves that don't matter very much. So I usually set it for 30. Unless you're a really, really, really strong titled player, I wouldn't set it for anything less than 25 or 30. For most of us who are club players and regular chess players, a setting, a threshold setting of 30 to 50 is fine. And that's it. There's not much more to it than that. Calculation time, how long Fritz will look at either an entire game or at each move. For that, 30 to 60 should do you fine. You can play around with it, play with other settings if you want to. In fact, I encourage you to play with it. Try different things, but generally 30 to 60 will do well. For threshold, I'd say 30 to 100. Generally, the less experience you have as a chess player, the higher you want to set that number. For beginners, for casual players, I'd set it for 100. For club players, 50, 30 even would be fine. Then when you're ready to go, you click OK, and you let her rip. And that's what we'll do here. I'll show you right here. I'll, I'll show you what happens. Click OK. Fritz loads the game and begins to analyze it. Notice that Fritz always starts at the end of the game and works backwards. That's because it's looking at everything that can happen after this 24th move, fill in the hash tables with these positions. Then after it comes up with an evaluation, it goes backwards one move. A lot of those hash table positions are going to apply to this move as well. It'll be things it finds in its search. So it does this actually to speed up its search by starting at the end of the game and moving toward the beginning. Notice here that it looked into the opening book. Already it found out that bishop e6 was the first non-book move, so it marked it with n for novelty. It went into that database that I specified in our previous video and pulled me in a game citation from this particular tournament in 1986. This is what the players ended up playing, bishop d6, rook e1, and it was a draw at that point. Notice it was only 13 moves long. That's what this number in parentheses means, 13. They called it a day at that point. But Fritz will continue to analyze. This is a fairly short game. Fritz would probably look at this for somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour. And when it's done, we will have commentary just like we saw back at the beginning of the video. That's all there is to it, and I suggest, strongly encourage you to use this feature, have Fritz analyze your games, and show you where you went wrong. Now, for people that want a little more specific kind of analysis, the old school computer numeric analysis, you can get that in Fritz too, and we'll look at that in our next video. Until then, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.